What's going on everybody? My name is Joey Nato and I am a hip hop artist. Don't include me in your plans, don't include me in your ways. I can see it clear that 4K, that's two tons that holds weight. Slash music producer and welcome to another episode of Music Producer Reacts, where I'm gonna break down the instrumental of a song for you. Today we're gonna be checking out NF with his song Time and uh, <laughs> it's just, this is right on time because the song just came out. Yeah, you could expect uh, you could expect a bunch of corny jokes on this channel, so uh, stick around. Also on this channel, I put out a ton of original music. I'm gonna be starting a couple different series soon about making music, but you know what? It's time for time. Let's get into it. All right, right off the bat, I mean, you have these beautiful strings going on, but these strings that, you know what? Whoever produced the search, I think produced this too. I'm pretty sure Tommy Prophet produced this because he always has these super authentic strings and I don't know what he does to get them. I don't know if he do goes the Dr. Dre route and like gets actual instrumentalists to come in and play or if he has like a motif keyboard that has these string sounds that cost more than my Ferrari that I don't have. Beautiful strings to start off here. That's what I'm getting at here, let's go. Even if we both break down tonight And you say you hate me And we go to bed angry I know everything will be alright I'll be here with Yo, these, these roads, these chords are so solemn. Like, they don't sound, <laughs> they don't have any life to him whatsoever. All the focus right now is just on NF's voice that's like right in your face. But there's a lot of low end, or I'm sorry, mid low end frequencies in, in those road sounds to give them a little bit more punch. It's it's about the punchiness of them. Not smooth and relaxed. They don't want you to feel calm here. They want you to feel a little tense. But here's the thing about music. They say great music has tension followed by release so right now i think we're in the tension stage and when the beat drops or whatever whatever however this is gonna go that will be the release but let's see i just need a little time to show you i'm worth it i know that oh a difficult person i'm a stress case drive you up the wall when i'm working actually Ooh. i'm probably worse when i'm not you don't deserve it make you nervous because you know i'm gonna break soon every time i do i say something that hurts you acting like i'm gone but we both in the same room Okay, these super crispy drums that came in here. Not what I was expecting. I mean, you know, in this day and age, I'm almost always expecting, and I don't listen to a lot of NF. Uh, maybe I should. A lot of drums nowadays don't sound like this. This sounds like, um, this has some, uh, which, oh my God. This has some like No ID kind of influence to it. No ID produced songs like My Last by Big Sean featuring Chris Brown, like songs like that. <laughs> think he's from the Midwest, I'm not sure. I don't know anything. Click off this video. No, wait, please don't. But I say that also because of that vocal effect in the background, that distorted vocal the, of the, the singing. The, ah, that's that Chicago flavor right there, you know, mixed in a little bit. Still the same. And also what's unique about this is those roads that I was talking about in the beginning with like those stabby chords that was like causing tension. I think they're backed up right now with a grand piano or some kind of like a regular pian acoustic pianos just playing behind them just to make it sound a little bit more layered, like a more full sound. And it just adds beauty to be honest with you. Like you, you can't go wrong with pianos. When I start producing an instrumental, a lot of times I start with pianos in general because I know I could either keep them because I love pianos or I could take them away or replace them with something else. But here, they're just playing like a ghost instrument in the background. They're like a supporting instrument. Here's the strings coming back now that were in the intro. Oh, now the vocal effect makes sense. It's derived from the hook here. 
That's that's dope. That's dope. And I like how he went up with the time. I like how he went up an octave uh, with, with singing time. Assuming that's him. I, I I could tell he could sing. Definitely there. He does the same thing as me with the rapping and singing. I call it studio singing. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I need that auto tune. Yeah, way before I bought you the ring, we were fighting back and forth like you were wearing a day. Two passionate people not afraid to say what they think. Lead a passionate conversation when it's hard to agree. You know me well. Sitting on the edge of my seat. It's interesting too because that vocal effect it's going ah, and it's like oh oh that vocal effect isn't the same every time that distorted vocal in the background it has some variations to it too which shows the production value isn't lazy you know what I mean the producer was not lazy putting this together stop texting me I'm doing videos and trying to do stuff And uh, one thing I wanted to mention about the drum sounds here is I should have mentioned this from the beginning, but they're just so crisp. They have like a, I don't know how to explain it, man. They just have like a really nice texture to them. Like they don't sound um, muffled out or toned out a little bit. Like they sound very, oh my God, I don't know how to explain this. It sounds so clear, you know what I mean? And I like that snare that he chose and those little uh, supporting kicks just have that little like that sound to them. It's just these little things that, you know, you pick up on when you create this type of music yourself. You know what I mean? That's cool. Making it difficult for me to open up and connect. A lot of regrets. I apologize for all the distress. That's not what I meant to do. You know I love you to death. Even if both break down tonight and you say you hate me and we go to bed angry. Yeah, okay, NF. Okay. What's his background with singing? Because he got a little vibrato right there on the end of his on the end of his things. He's not just like angry. He's like angry. Like I, I can't even do it. I can't I can't really do true vibratos. I, I, I do them sometimes on accident while recording and then I'm like, oh my god, I gotta keep this. See? Oh, I, I need. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Okay, nice crash symbol there. To dramatize things a little bit, now they got higher strings just in the background. That's a dope song, man. And right back to the strings that were in the beginning. Put them in at the end here. Things in the video came full circle. I wasn't really paying attention to it, but that's what it seems like. It's crazy when you're when you're just focusing on the music production and everything you don't hear the lyrics you don't watch the you're watching the video but you're not even paying attention to what's going on in the video it's it's crazy how the how the yeah, yeah, that whatever that thing is in your head works look man i'm not naive nf has quality music he has that like slight whine in his voice that just it just makes for for good emotional music when he taps into his like raw emotions in his songs or songs with a message like his voice just has that kind of conviction to it and it just i don't know it just blends well with those emotional type of instruments like strings and pianos and the roads weren't used in an emotional way though i guess they were but more of like the harsh reality that's what i think the that's what i think they stood for in the in the in the instrumental let me know what you guys thought about the song a couple things i want to say really quick if you're on instagram or on twitter please give me a follow at lucky boy and i've been putting out a lot of music on this channel a lot of original music i don't swear in any of the songs kind of like nf and i've been told it's um pretty good it's what i love to do more than anything so it would mean a lot if you did check it out i'll put a link in the pinned comments below so you can check some of it out and if you enjoyed this video or think somebody would enjoy watching this video please share it with them that would mean a lot as well and that's pretty much it i don't really got much more to say other than that and i don't have a cool outro line yet so i'll just say i appreciate you guys Nada.